Welcome back to another card opening. I'm in zero and opening a second box of uh, Legendary Duel Sisters of the Rose, which is pretty cool. I like Harpy Lady. I like Luna Lights. I like Cyber Angels. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try not to ruin this box because I'm gonna. This box looks like in good condition for me to hang on the wall. As I say that, uh, as I'm ruining the box, I put my the good the sets that I really like. I hang it on the wall. The boxes, not the not the packs. Of course, I could frame those. All right. I'm gonna take all the packs out because one big pile. this box because it's in pretty good condition compared to the last one so that's how many packs that each box comes with so and I'm gonna organize them the way I did in the last video which was uh, put the three archetypes I like and then the reject pile and then the hollow pile so starting off Special schedule, Blue Rose Dragon, Moonlight Perfume, and we start with a super rare, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, and we got Red Rose Dragon as rare. So uh, off to a horrible start with a stupid train card. And Moonlight. This box is going to curse me by giving me all the train cards, which sucks. Night Express Night, Ritual Sanctuary, Witch of the Black Rose, yep, Ultra Rare, a Super Express Bullet Train, yep, this, this, uh, it's cursing me already by giving me all the train cards. Twilight Rose Knight, Leo Dancer, uh, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Hustle Russell, and Incarnated Machine Angel. Alright, next pack. I bet the next hollow is going to be another train card. Because, you know. Ben 10, Moonlight Perfume. Uh, Signal Red, Mark of the Rose, Harpy Lady Elegance. I'm probably this is probably going to be the last box I open of Sisters of the Rose because uh, there's not much in here as far as uh, you know cards like useful cards so. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna get like and I'm gonna end up with like 20 of almost everything so Yeah, it, it two boxes is probably good enough Honestly, I'll probably end up getting like the remaining singles on TCG player or something She named ritual Elgin Egotus, hustle Russell rail cart and cyber egg Angel. I'm surprised that there's no actual like original Harpy Lady card in this set. I have the original original Harpy Lady card with the uncen the uncensored version. Machine Angel Ritual, Edithin, Night Express Night. Harpy's Feather Storm, sweet. And Yellow Martin, sweet. So, got another one of these. Which is awesome. Could never really turn that down. Alright, next pack. 
Ecstasy Spark, Tied Up Rose Knight, Edithin, Harpy Lee's Sisters, and Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Probably going to end up making a Black Rose deck. Because I have enough cards to do so. Elgin Egotist, Lunar Like uh, Panther Dancer, Black Rose Dragon, Harpy's Feather Rest, sweet, and Cyber Angel, or Cyber Egg Angel. Sweet, another one. That's two. Need one more, I think. And then I have three of the, the draw card. Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, Harpy Queen, Harp, er, Edithin, Merciful Machine Angel, and Red Rose. So, another Merciful Machine Angel. That's pretty cool. I like the card. Looks really cool. Very uh, Buddhist God-like, except for Machine Angel stuff. Machine Angel Ritual, Harpy Lay Sisters, Signal Red, XC Spark, and Dark Rose Rift Fairy. Minus the train cards. There's a decent pack. Anything with a train in it makes, makes me uh, hate the pack, honestly. Twilight Rose Knight, Ruffian Railcar, Ben 10. Moonlight Perfume, and Emerald Bird. Bird. Black Rose Dragon, Dakini, Black Garden, Alluring Mirror Split. I don't have this card yet. And Yellow Mart. So that's pretty cool. Uh pretty much a uh, when it when a harpy lady dies another one comes out which is interesting yeah pretty much what it is so that's cool I don't know how many of those I would need but to be on the safe side I could use three whole place set Try to speed it up a little bit. Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Let's kick it into overdrive. Shout out to Five Bs, the best one of the series. Moonlight Fusion, yes, that's two. I highly doubt I'm going to get the third in this one, but, uh, yeah, two is probably good enough for me. It'd be nice if I got a third one in this box. Doubt it, but it'd be nice. I don't know if there's a card that can get that back from the grave. Probably throw a black rose in every synchro deck that I have. Mm. That was a decent pack. <clears throat> decent. Bad. Bad pack, because it had a train in it. Gustav Max.
packs are light and hard at the same time. Blooming of the Darkest Rose. You know, someone's going to criticize my organizing skills, but oh well. Ooh, Garden Rose Maiden and Red Rose Dragon. She is elegant as fuck. So she pretty much brings uh, Black Guard into your hand from or from the deck or grave, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then brings back a Rose Dragon from the by removing her. So that's awesome. So basically, she's a a defense wall that can bring out Black Garden to your hand or grave, from hand or grave, and then uh, bring, out, bring out a Rose Dragon so you can go into Black Rose. So, it's, an inch, it's a pretty good card for the Rose deck, so. Yes, another Izanon, Izani, sweet. That's my second one that I needed. Pretty sure my deck is complete now. Unless there's a Machine Angel uh, trap card that I don't remember. Other than that, I think my, uh, my Cyber Angel deck is practically complete. Wow, that was a... Uh, very heavy light light pack. Pretty good. I like it. Gustav Max. Cyber Egg Angel, which is pretty cool. Merciful Machine Angel. Lunar Light Saber Dancer, sweet, and Yellow Martin. Another one of her. Good trade fodder, I think. In my opinion, at least. If not, I can throw her two of her in the deck, honestly. Harpy Ladies, Harpy's Feather Rest, sweet, a playset. Awesome. Three of the draw card. Now I just need the, like the rest of the hollow monsters. Up because uh, that last video was way too long 
for me at least. Frozen Rose. That's a cool looking card. And we got Magnificent Machine Angel. So yeah, that is a very gorgeous card in my opinion. So pretty much, uh, if you send a plant, uh, let's see, send one face up monster you control to the graveyard, apply this effect depending on what type of monster, type you had on it. So if it's a plant, you draw two at the end of the, you pretty much uh, draw two, discard one if it's a plant during the end phase. And if I'm assuming it's a dragon, uh, add a level four or lower plant monster from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one frozen rose each turn. So this would be really great in plant synchro or plant synchron, to, in my opinion, because you pretty much send an unnecessary tuner or a token, and then you get your uh, lone fire. Blossom to your hand and then pretty much combo from there That's what I think at least It's like the best way to execute it Because I know plant synchro would benefit or plant synchron would benefit from that really well Emerald bird And we're down to our final three packs one more hollow would be nice. I don't know if I have more than enough. Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Harby Oracle, sweet. Uh, this is the other cover card. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Look at that. Super rare. Really nice. I like it. Very gorgeous. And our last pack, which I'm guessing does not have a hollow in it, because we got a hollow in the last one. So odds are there's no hollow in this one. Yep. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, I like this box better than the last one. Because, oh well, no, I take that back. There's a lot of train cards in here, so. Let's go over it real quick. Harpy Oracle, Frozen Rose, Harpy's Feather Rest, Lunalite Saber Dancer, Cyber Angel Izani, Garden Rose Maiden, Lunalite Fusion, Alluring Mirror Split, Merciful Machine Angel, Another Harpy's Feather Rest, Harpy's Feather Storm, Super Express Bullet Train, and Flying Pegasus Rail Stampede. I could care less about the train stuff, but uh, <clears throat> that'll be it for this video. I don't know how soon the next one will. I may buy a Card Fight Vanguard box, the, the new set that recently came out, for or or wait until Savage Strike comes out because uh, they have Tech Genus stuff and I'm a big fan of Tech Genus, so. Yeah. Cyber Angel stack is pretty high. You can't see it from the lack of depth perception, so. But uh, yeah, Cyber Angel is pretty, pretty big pile. So uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, either get Card 5 Vanguard, that, that new set that came out with Gear Chronicle, Genesis, and Great Nature. Or wait until Savage Strike. Get a, get a box of that for so that way you can get Tech Gen stuff and maybe either or probably other stuff such as. I know I'm getting the Soul Burner deck because Salomon Greats are really cool. And uh, yeah, it's getting three of those decks because I really like the character really like the archetype and uh, see where it goes from there uh, 
I may do deck profiles and at some point I'm not sure they will be like they won't be competitive decks they will just be like decks that I find I enjoy using like I know people are gonna hate me for for the fact that it's not a competitive deck if anything it's really casual because I don't have the money or resources to empty out my wallet to get stupid stuff like Lone Fire Bloss or not no uh, Ash Blossoms and uh, other stupid expensive stuff like that so <clears throat> so yeah so that'll be it for this video thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video whenever that is actually because I'm not sure Bye.